Hello and welcome back to Michelle on Your Shoulder. It is day 10 of our 40-day walk with scripture. A special shout out to my early subscribers and those of you who have been keeping up with these daily segments. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so right now by clicking on the subscribe button below. I will be adding a second playlist next week in addition to the scriptural 40 days that we are doing now. It is one that is close to my heart and is in honor of my mother. So stick around and see what we are celebrating next week. Oh, and thank you for showing me some love by giving this video a thumbs up. We really appreciate your support. These daily devotions are from my upcoming book, God is Good, a 40-day walk with scripture. The scriptural selections and passages are from Compass, the study Bible for navigating your life by Ecclesia Bible Study. Our day 10 scripture reading is a moving one. Ephesians 1, 15 through 19. Day 10. This is why, when I heard of the faith in the Lord Jesus that is present in your community and of your great love for all God's people, I haven't stopped thanking him for you. I am continually speaking to him on your behalf in my prayers. Here's what I say. God of our Lord Jesus the Anointed, Father of glory, I call out to you on behalf of your people. Give them minds ready to receive wisdom and revelation so they will truly know you. Open the eyes of their hearts and let the light of your truth flood in. Shine your light on the hope you are calling them to embrace. Reveal to them the glorious riches you are preparing as their inheritance. Let them see the full extent of your power that is at work in those of us who believe. And may it be done according to your might and power. This is the word of the Lord. Ephesians 1 is the opening to the letter or epistle from Paul to the church in Ephesus. It includes a beautiful spiritual blessing of God and a prayer of thanksgiving. Today's passage, verses 15 through 19, opens with his praise for their faith and love. He tells them how thankful he is for them that I haven't stopped thanking him for you, verse 16. He then shares the prayer he says on their behalf. God of our Lord Jesus, the anointed, Father of glory, I call out to you on behalf of your people. Give them minds ready to receive wisdom and revelation so they will truly know you. Open the eyes of their hearts and let the light of your truth flood in. Shine your light on the hope you are calling them to embrace. Reveal to them the glorious riches you are preparing as their inheritance. Let them see the full extent of your power that is at work in those of us who believe, and may it be done according to your might and power. Verses 17 and 19, through 19. Such a glorious intercessory prayer and gift for him to share with them. Part of the beauty of this prayer, and one of the reasons I love it so much, is how easily we can amend it to the first person and include it in our regular prayers. 
read it with me. God of our Lord Jesus the Anointed, Father of glory, I call out to you on behalf of your people. Give us minds ready to receive wisdom and revelation so we will truly know you. Open the eyes of our hearts and let the light of your truth flood in. Shine your light on the hope you are calling us to embrace. Reveal to us the glorious riches you are preparing as our inheritance. Let us see the full extent of your power that is at work in those of us who believe. And may it be done according to your might and power. Amen. infinite love and joy to you on your spiritual journey. May your day be filled with love and support. Until tomorrow. <laughs>